All right, guys, we got a really cool basketball shoe here. It's not from the States. It's a Chinese brand. You guys probably already know because we don't clickbait typically. It's the Anta KT7s. And these right here, man, I got to say, I have not played in them yet and I might not get a chance to. Basketball right now for me is limited, but this is probably one of the more technologically advanced basketball sneakers currently on the market. And yes, that includes Nike. Oh. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Again, we're talking about these potential bad boys right here. This is the Anta KT7s, the seventh signature shoe for Clay Thompson. I actually feel like these are gonna be way better than the sixes. The sixes were so much shoe that I didn't even wanna play in them. The six lows are awesome. They're way less shoe. They don't have all the extra layers and stuff and I just didn't get a chance to play in them because pandemic season. Now, before we talk about these, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody that supports Sense Apparel. The Concord hoodie launch was so amazing. We appreciate everybody's support. There were a ton of you guys. You guys bought hoodies. Some of you guys bought shorts. A lot of you guys bought both. It's insane. And I just gotta say, it makes me really excited what comes next. Shut up and take my money. But like I was saying, we're gonna talk about these bad boys or these potential bad boys right here. This is the KT7s. I think that these are fantastic looking shoes or sounding shoes according to all the tech specs especially once I tried them on it's like I feel like they really got like the whole balancing act down between support because there's a ton of it in here lightweight lots of that in here because of the upper and stuff tons of cushion no feeling of instability or anything like like you don't feel like you're about to like be propelled up to the sky or anything like that this is one of those shoes where I'm just like yo dude like I know that everybody beasts over the main brands and I think that's okay because that's just what we all know but when stuff like this is on the market like I'm just like this is a sleeper hit. So like I was saying, these things are packed with technology. And when I was looking at the description online, I got these from Famuji Sneaker, by the way. I will leave a link down below in the description box. But on Famuji, they had this really great image that had the entire shoe just broken down into all of its pieces and all that stuff. And I was like, man, I wish that that was in the box somewhere. And it actually was. I didn't even know. I took out the paper and stuff and I was like, they hid that thing in there. They should tell you that it's in here because most people don't go past the paper. So uh, yeah, I thought that was really cool that that was in here. It's also in English too. So like you can actually read what's in there. It's not just going to be Chinese, which is awesome because typically like with the past models, I don't know what is in there. I just know that it's comfortable. So starting off with the traction, when I first looked at this right here, I instantly thought that they just reused the traction from the last model. And they have done that before. So I just thought that they've done that, you know what I mean? And uh, when I got them both side by side, I was like, oh man, they are very similar, but they are not the same. I have not played in these yet. Obviously they're brand new. I have a stage over there, which is where we do like our on foot stuff and our B roll and everything. And that is a basketball style floor. So it's like an actual hardwood. It's really nice and it mimics really clean clean basketball floor. So this right here for right now, while it's clean is super, super grippy, like pop your hip out type of grippy, even though none of this moves, like none of this is pliable. It's very flat, but the rubber compound super grippy. However, typically when we have something like that, when it's super grippy like that, it also attracts dust. So I don't know for a fact, I just got a feeling that this could be great on some courts and it could be slippery on others. Now the cushion for these things is pretty much like its main focal point or its main feature. It's just that it's not really like in your face. So the main aspect of the cushion would be its midsole, which is a traditional feature. This particular midsole, it's caged on primarily the entire lateral side here, but the medial side is exposed, very reminiscent of Adidas's models from the crazy explosives and things like that, or even the Harden Volume 1, where you had exposed boost and then, you know, TPU on the other side to kind of cage it in. Pretty much exact same setup. This stuff right here even looks just like Boost. However, they do describe it as it being a nitrogen based setup. So I don't know if this is an ETPU that they expanded with nitrogen, like what they do with the super critical type of foam, or if it's an actual ETPU and I don't know, it's got something to do with nitrogen or something like that. But what I'm assuming is, is that there are the little pellets that you can kind of see in there and then maybe they nitrogen boost it to expand and combine together. But all I know is that the the way that it feels on foot is very comfortable, very absorbent, but also super stable. So some of the ETPUs that they used in the past, like the KT4s, they were really comfortable, but they were kind of like bouncy and stuff like that, where you felt like you could be unstable on certain movements. This right here, it feels like it fixes all of that without being too restrictive. That's the main thing. Like the KT6s, when I put those on, it had that same type of feel, but I also didn't feel like I could move anywhere. This guy right here is the exact opposite. So I really like that. On top of that, quite literally, is this insole 
midsole right here. And this guy is made out of the actual pellets that the midsole is made out of, but before they blow them up and stick them together. This is very similar to what we've seen in a Chinese branded shoe as well called Lane 8. They're more of a, a lifestyle like trainer shoe. And I think that this is a really awesome feature. Like this is like a ton of cushion just by itself. And then on top of that, where it's technically underneath it, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see it, but it's this little green section right there. They call this SAM or SMART. And basically what the SAM means or what it stands for, and I'm gonna read it off here just so that I make sure I don't up, but it refers to shock absorption molecule. The really funny thing though is that, and not funny haha, but like what the f like that's crazy, is that it says that it's a bulletproof material. I don't know what to think about that. You know what I mean? I remember when Nike and its Elite Series did the Kevlar flywire and laces and stuff like that. And we were like, Kevlar, what the f like, like bulletproof? Sh I didn't even know that there was bulletproof foam. Like, is that real? You guys gotta let me know. I don't even know about that. It sounds just sci-fi sci to me. Like, it sounds really, really wild but also awesome and it makes me wonder like why isn't it everywhere like why is it just that little tiny piece in the heel you could be a superhero with these but anyways it says that that material can absorb 99.4 percent of its overall impact which would reduce the burden on ankles and knees to you know extend your playing ability and stuff like that like where the f was this like five years ago i really needed that so yes they used this stuff last year in the kt6 that's what this graphic is from uh, but again it's back here in the kt7 now all of that cushion is wrapped up right here like like I was saying before in this TPU kind of plate it's like a rubbery plate so it's got some flex to it but also cages your foot in there so you don't have any of the instability it's also flexible enough and everything and this has got all of that stuffing in the toe is this one no it doesn't so yeah nice and flexible up front so you got mobility and stability and tons of cushion all together it's insane this is one heck of a shoe right here this gives me the same feeling that the LeBron 19s does where I'm like man they threw everything in this Shoe. The only difference is that these feel very functional, whereas the LeBron 19s feel a little gimmicky, but it's so much air that you don't care. Bars. What? <laughs> that was such a, a random, like, what? who's back there? Who's the, is that the peanut gallery? Like, what is this? I'm still here, guys. Okay, man. <laughs> Like out of nowhere. <laughs> Anyways, they call this thing the 3D hug. Aw, shucks. Because it hugs the foot and the cushion and all of that stuff. Now, on top of all of that, yeah, I know, there's so much here. I gotta break it down piece by piece. It's this nylon strip right here. It's a nylon TPU, so it's super lightweight, but it's also extremely tough. This right here is on two sides, on the medial and the lateral, and that is in conjunction with the midfoot shank, which is actually carbon fiber. So uh, we got a plate here. It wraps the foot up in the nylon, plus the 3D hug material, tons of support, all making sure that that cushion stays stable, but still stays cushioned. So yeah, it's really, really neat. Now the upper is what they're calling speed fiber. It's very similar to what's on the KT6s, but without the strap and all that stuff, very similar to what's on the KT6 low. And basically what it is, it's a really lightweight TPU yarn. So it's like plastic threads instead of like, you know, regular threads. I don't know what they're, what's that mean? I don't know, cotton or something, I don't know. Anyways, the uh, speed fiber, like I was saying, it is uh, just TPU yarn and everything. So they're able to weave everything together, build the boot or the foot shape around the last, and that's the upper, but they're able to give it more strength by heat welding certain sections. So you got this entire lateral side, you got a little piece of the toe by the eye stay area back there at the heel. So they're able to heat those pieces up and really like fuse all of those yarns together. So it's one big piece. So you get a bit of a knitted feeling in addition to a fuse feeling altogether. So that's what all of that is. It should be pretty durable. And again, it should contain the foot, be comfortable, lightweight, all of that kind of stuff all together. I can't believe that there's so much stuff like this in one shoe. Like this feels like it's like six different signature models. Like if this was Nike, you'd have like the KD's upper, the Kyrie's cushion or whatever, you know what I mean? Like the LeBron's whatever, but it feels like they took all of that and they put it all in one shoe. Maybe because they don't have as many athletes. I don't know. Now the interior is interesting because it's super soft, super plush. I love the tongue. It's super comfortable, but they have a big ass Achilles notch right there. That thing is that cat's tongue stuff that Adidas likes to use where you can go down, but when you go up, it's like real rough. That's what she said. <laughs> So it's supposed to make the foot fit in the back of the shoe better. And some people love it, some people don't. Just kind of depends. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, they do fit true to size. So whatever you typically wear in your US size, that's what I would recommend. Mine is size nine. These are a size nine. They fit me perfectly. They're hella comfortable without being like overly comfortable. And uh, yeah, I think that these are gonna be awesome. What do you think? I just wanted to comment on the theme of this colorway. The box that says above the waves. I follow his Instagram account. because Clay, I Clay's a funny I love seeing him and Rocco, his bulldog, but yeah. he's like constantly 
constantly out on the bay or next to the bay. And so I was just like, hey, this feels like the first shoe where it's really I him. Think, I think they've done it before, but like like even Rocco's got his own shoe within his line. But normally it's like a secondary or third yeah. iteration. like. I don't know. This one just felt like, okay, yeah, I can see clay in that shoe. There's a white one also. Okay. So they launch at the same time. And like I was saying before, there is a link down below in the description box. So if you're interested in checking them out, I'm hoping that there's a low pretty soon because those are usually my favorites out of the clay line. There's also, dude, he's retroing his stuff. Ooh. I know, there's a KT1 Pro. Excellent. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Stay tuned for Sense Apparel's next launch. I don't know what it is, but it should be dope. And with that being said, have a good one. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Again, if you were interested in grabbing a pair of these, they will. Why do I mess that up? It's always at the end of the video. It's like my brain is just like, yeah, we're done. It's 18 minutes of talking. And then you hear after these <clears throat> messages. Rough. We'll be right back. Da -dum, da -dum.